The wet season carries on across Trinidad and Tobago, even though we're over the first peak, which is between June and August. We tend to get another peak in November. But right now, as you go through September, there's usually a bit of a lull, but it doesn't mean that we still won't see those heavy showers, as we saw earlier on a Monday. Still, the moisture from the ITC will be hanging around us through Tuesday, so the occasional showers that could turn heavy or thundery will persist, but especially for parts of central and southern Trinidad. So if you're in Tobago, though, you'll just see a scouting of showers, maybe the slight chance of a thundery downpour first thing in the morning and into the afternoon. But for those of you in Trinidad, this is where you'll see the bulk of the cloudiness and uh, those uh, thundery downpours, especially during uh, the middle of your day and especially down towards our uh, central and uh, southern areas. So be mindful about that. There's a possibility of uh, gusty winds and a street or flash flooding, which again is uh, normal for this time of the year as you go through our wet season. Temperature-wise, it will feel more comfortable, possibly about 32 degrees Celsius to high in Trinidad, 31 across Tobago. And if you are looking to head out to see basically we still have those uh, east northeasterly swells that uh, short at about eight seconds but look for those fresher winds 15 possibly 20 knots especially in those offshore showers and the uh, two meter wind waves for the most part out there in uh, the atlantic and we got your high tide at 11 30 a.m now it seems as though by midweek we'll continue to see some of the cloudiness still generating some of those uh, thundery downpours especially around a th wednesday and a thursday and then come friday you'll notice a stark change we'll basically be seeing some of the saharan dust uh, coming through it's been a lot while but we could be seeing some hazy skies to end of the working week on friday so that's the weather and that's for me